today I'm going to show you how to take a two wire LED, any two wire LED and turn it into a dual voltage light for like turn signal and running light or uh, a brake light and running light or whatever else it is that you want to do. This is just a little amber eagle eye LED that I had laying around. I'm going to use it for this but it works with uh, LED strips and any, anything else that you want to use it for. If it has two wires and it's an LED, it has to be an LED. This does not work with incandescent bulbs, okay? It only works with LEDs. So before I do this, I have to say, if you're the type of person who doesn't think before they do things, don't do this. You're gonna burn your bike up, then you're gonna try to blame it on me, okay? I ain't trying to deal with all that. If you wanna do this, that's, that's up to you. I'm showing you how, but uh, if you burn your bike up from doing something stupid, that's that's not my fault, homie, so uh, you take that down the road. I'm gonna pause the video at a certain point to put a schematic up. Um, I'll just do it right here. So that's the schematic, and if you want to, if you can't follow along or whatever, or if you want to save it for later on, uh, just go ahead and screenshot that or do whatever it is that you want to do, which you want to keep. Um, so if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe, comment on it. Uh, let me know what you would like to see or what you would not like to see, or if uh, you want me to shut up. I'm probably not going to shut up. Either way, here's a video. All right. So here we go. Uh, this is kind of a sloppy version of this. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and solder all this stuff together because I don't want to waste any of the, well, I got a bunch of resistors and a bunch of diodes, but I don't want to waste any of this stuff. So um, I'm just gonna kind of wrap it together. You probably want to solder it <laughs> and, and uh, heat shrink it if you're going to be using this on a motorcycle, obviously. So once again, things that go unsaid. Anyway, um, these pieces of wire are going to act as uh, black is going to be ground and then the two reds, one is going to be constant power and one is going to be intermittent power which you would be getting from a brake light switch or a uh, like a turn signal relay or something like that. Obviously also have a battery here so that we can provide power to this light. This is just a regular little LED. It doesn't really do anything special. Um, this was actually the turn signal on my Vulcan I had into my triple tree. It was drilled, a hole drilled into my triple tree, so they sat flush. Uh, it looked all right, but I'm kind of going a different direction with that now. Actually, um, while I'm setting this up to show you how this light works, if you like Vulcans and, uh, or really if you just like motorcycles in general, I have recently obtained a 1990 Harley Davidson FXR and uh see just a regular light that's all it does so anyway i've recently obtained a 1990 harley davidson fxr and i have um a 2005 kawasaki vulcan 1500 that i'm going to strip down and see if it can uh, compete with the fxr so if you're into that kind of stuff uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you want me to see, wanted, well, what you would want to see me do to the Vulcan to see if it can compare. Anyway, so back to this. The paper's down here just so you can see. These are IN4004 diodes, okay? This is a rectifier diode. Um, this is a resistor, okay? These are, well, these are all resistors. These are, resistors are measured in ohms. This is everything from zero all the way up to, um, I don't know, a lot, a thousand ohms. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, whatever it is, but there's a bunch of them in here, okay? You don't need to get this many. I have this many because I'm always working with lighting and, and different things like that. And it, I just have, I have a shop, so I, I keep stuff like this in bulk. Um, but anyway, a resistor and a diode, okay? People, I had a dude, I put it on a... Facebook page asking if anybody would want to see this just because uh, you, you know there's I mean there's other videos on it but 
just to make my own version of it and a dude said uh, resistor diode and that doesn't make any sense okay this is a diode this is a resistor there's a difference okay if you think about it this is like uh, this throttles down the amount of electricity passing through a circuit okay basically to put it very simply also to put it very simply this is like a one-way valve for electricity okay so electricity can go through it one way and but it won't be able to backfeed through it okay it's like a one-way valve it won't so you can have these tied in line you use this if you have several things powered off of one wire basically you, you'll see in a minute so uh i'm gonna throw together one right quick and i'll cut you back on in just a minute as you can see so your constant power runs down to this resistor this resistor is tied together in a y shape with this diode i'll pull it off in a minute and i'll show you what it, what it actually looks like up close this resistor is bringing down the amount of power that's going to this light okay so it's making the light dim you saw it before and you see how dim it is now i mean it's it's like you know it's bright enough to where you would see it on the road but it's it's not as bright as it was so this wire the reason that it, i don't have it hooked to any power or anything is because this power i mean uh, this wire is what would be going to your intermittent power like your uh, turn signal switch or your brake light or whatever it else you would want to put a dual phase led on so that whenever you hit your your uh, turn signal you know it would blink you know it's getting that intermittent power or whenever you hooked it up to your brake light switch you know it'll stay lit up um, and this this makes it to where you can take any LED that you want and uh, and turn it into a uh, a safe uh, running light or a turn signal or whatever it is, whatever you want to do the uh, dual phase light anyway um, so this is the a little thing up close all this let me put a piece of paper behind it so you can see it all this is okay the little blue or purple thing i'm not sure what color it is i'm colorblind is a uh, uh, 2.2 thousand ohm or 2.2 k is what it says on the pack uh, ohm resistor and then the black thing is a diode so the resistor once again is bringing down the power the amount of power and the diode is uh, not allowing backflow through that you know why part of the circuit right there anyway that is as easy as it is it's not hard at all it's two little tiny pieces this is probably four cents of electrical components right here and um like i said this is this is cheap these are all i think all this was like 15 bucks for, for i got god knows how many resistors of all different kinds and this one was like three dollars for a bunch of rectifier diodes uh, they're IN4004, and for this one, I used a 2.2 thousand ohm uh, resistor. So, the reason that I used that resistor is because of how bright the light was before. It was very bright, so I brought it down a good bit so that there was a, a very clear difference whenever you would uh, you'd be using it as a running light versus whenever it was flashing on and off or or you know breaking or, or whatever else that you you know what you're whatever you can do so anyway uh that's as easy as it is it's very 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 simple and uh it's just two little pieces of wire